Okay, we're back. We've got another video. The last one here we're going to be doing is just sort of if you've tried the other strategies, the other medications, sometimes in the end you're going to need insulin. So uh, how do you work into uh, transitioning into injections of insulin? Yeah, so uh, one, one of the important things to, to think about insulin as a strategy is that it, it does remain still an option at all stages of management of type 2 diabetes. Uh, and in fact, insulin may be one of the first strategies. If a person is diagnosed with diabetes and their blood sugars are very, very high, then insulin is, is the best and safest tool to help to correct those high sugars and, and get people feeling better. Um, but typically the more common situation is that individuals with diabetes, uh, as we talked about in the past, at the time of their diagnosis, have maybe lost about half of their ability to produce insulin. And as time, as that progresses and the insulin production ab uh, ability declines, the obvious answer is that we need to help replace that insulin. Mm -hmm. And the other medications we mentioned, uh, which some help make insulin, some help our body take in insulin, those would still be used alongside injections of insulin? Well, exactly. So oftentimes people will have you know, being on the pill options we've talked about in varying combinations and what we would be looking at is adding insulin to that combination of oral medications. The most common situation is that we would often add a once a day long acting insulin which just helps to lower the background blood sugars. Okay, so there's different types of insulin based on how long they work for. There'd be also ones that just work for a short dose? Yeah, exactly. So the most typical first step is going to be adding in the long-acting insulin, and we do have zin insulins that last up as long as close to 24 hours with a single injection. Mm -hmm. um, that would bring the background blood sugars down, and we keep the pills. Sometimes we need to consider adjusting the pills, either if we think that they're maybe not having much of an impact on the blood sugars, then you know it's not necessarily worth continuing to take it. Uh, but also with some of them we have to consider the possibility that there may be additional risk of causing low blood sugars. Some people, however, have to go from this relatively simple and easy to administer once a day insulin to the addition of some short acting insulin to just cover their meals. Okay, and this be all based on the advice of your doctor who let you know based on the way you're reporting, the levels that you have? Yeah, of course, and this we've talked about this before in other videos, is the importance of blood sugar monitoring to be able to gauge what the best fit is going to be for an individual patient. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess, is there anything else sort of important that we need to know about insulin? Obviously, we've talked about insulin sometimes as the first stage of action, sometimes it's they've tried a bunch of other options, and so it sort of it depends where you are. You may get an insulin regardless of how long you've known you've had diabetes, I imagine. So the important part with insulin as well is there is some additional education that patients need to be aware of, and that really involves the risk of hypoglycemia. When we add insulin, the chances of having a low blood sugar certainly does increase above many of the other pill options that we have available. Um, so patients need to be instructed in recognition of what a low blood sugar is, and of course strategies to help to manage those low blood sugars should they occur. Mm -hmm. And that all goes to, along with reporting and along with other ways that you're able to sort of get that feedback that you need. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Reporting, working with your doctor, uh, to give you the overall best chance of improving your diabetes control and ultimately avoiding the risk of the complications of diabetes. All right, well that seems clear to me and, I, and the way that these all work together seems like an important way to, an important thing to sort of understand in your head if you're taking them as a medley of different strategies and yeah, avoiding those complications. So. Absolutely. Well, it's been a good series and I'm glad that we've been able to uh, talk about the medications and thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And see us again. We'll be uh, posting another video soon.